Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. If you're an oldie moldy, watch me address myself. Why do I always start the video when I'm not ready? I don't know. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. If you're an oldie moldy, welcome back. I have had too much coffee. This is a Grande Ice Peppermint Mocha. So freaking good. So I'm going to show you what I got from the Dollar Tree. This is a Dollar Tree haul and it's a good one. I'm excited. I've been watching a lot of Dollar Tree frozen food, must-haves, don't try, yay or nay type of videos. So I got the Snaps mozzarella sticks and I'm going to try and cook these in the air fryer. I got to go put these in the freezer right now because they are a frozen food but I really want to try those I'm excited did not find the spring rolls that I was looking for but I've been on this kick of buying frozen food which isn't the healthiest but you know I like to have snacks I'm more of a savory over a sweet person so I really don't eat that much sweet so I probably compensate my caloric intake with all of the frozen food that I like to eat it is what it is so this is a really good deal. You know what? Let me go put these back in the freezer and I'll show you the rest of the stuff because I really don't want those to defrost. So I'll be back. You won't even know it, but I, because I won't show it, I'm going to go to the kitchen real quick. Okay, I'm back. I have the cutest outfit on, but you can't even see it. I'm wearing a dress with a sweatshirt and scrunchy socks and I just look adorable in my humble opinion. And I could say that because I know when I look like trash and hell in a handbasket. So guys are wondering like what's with the fashion videos I used to love fashion back in the day years and years ago I used to be gothic like 30 some years ago I used to love fashion I used to love wearing dresses and skirts I got into this real slump where I started pulling my hair back in a ponytail wearing jeans and a flannel and looking like crap I just stopped taking care of myself and when I stopped taking care of myself I stopped feeling like myself and I stopped feeling fancy free and feminine you know so what an oxymoron I cut off my hair I started dressing better doing some fashion videos and just I don't know I reinvented myself I guess so with the snap brand I heard that they have some really good stuff but like I said I could not find spring rolls I, like, I really like my hair so let me let me see if I can find the food items and get those out of the way first because I did get a lot of food items. We went to a new Dollar Tree and this Dollar Tree was good, but it did not have the good food section. Like the one that I normally go to has a really good food section where they have like rice aroni packets and they're not, they're nor, they're not rice aroni packets. They're called nor and it's like a rice blended type of side dish that I like to get. I like to incorporate that as a side dish with shrimp and or chicken. If I, if I do grilled chicken, I like to incorporate like that cheesy nor side dish. It's so good. I think you've seen me haul it before. They did not have that here. They did not have a lot of cereals. Their frozen food section was banging. It was popping. And I don't have any lipstick on because I'm sipping on a beverage. But yeah, so, and they didn't have the Rinaldi's pizza sauce that there. I always, always see the Rinaldi's pizza sauce. And I wanted that for the mozzarella cheese sticks. But again, I, I didn't find, I didn't find them. So what I did get, and I can doctor and make sure that you check all the dates on this stuff. I did get the Hunt's tomato sauce. Now, tomato sauces are all made differently. I don't like the store brand of... I think it's Stater Brothers. I don't, Hunt is sweet. So their tomato sauce has a nice sweet flavor to it. Not all tomato sauces are created equally. And this is all I can find. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna doctor this up. I can make this taste good. Normally when I make spaghetti, I will get, you know, like the ragu extra chunky spaghetti sauce. I'll add a, I'll add a can of tomato sauce because it's kind of a, a cheap trick that I do like I don't want to use two jars of spaghetti sauce because that's too much to me it's just too much and we're, we're not going to eat all that so a smaller can of tomato sauce mixed in with the ragu 
makes a perfect amount for a family of like five or four, however many people are here. And then I always doctor up the spaghetti sauce with the basil, the oregano, you know, the Italian seasonings, all of that. So I always doctor it up. So I'm pretty sure that I can doctor this up and make it taste like a spaghetti sauce, you know, adding all of the spices and doodads and yeah, so just got this. I'm pretty sure that I can make it taste like spaghetti sauce. And I like Hunt's because it's got like that nice, rich tomato flavor. And like I said, there's the store brands of tomato sauce, the ones from Stater Brother. I, ooh, I just don't like it. So I got a lot of junk food. I got the white cheddar savory Chex Mix. We'll see how this tastes. If I like it, yay. If I don't, okay. Um, for $1.25, I really wanted to try it. And um, it's it's a good size. It's a regular size of Chex for $1.25. It's uh, supposed to be a 60% less fat. I don't care about that. I just eat it because it tastes good. But it does say that it's 60% less fat than regular potato chips. But who am I kidding? I eat potato chips and this on the daily. So, yeah, this is a regular size. And it just looks like this. And so... Kind of excited for that. And then I got two of the Arizona Mucho Mango. I got two of these and I just like them a lot. And I know that they're not that healthy, but neither is soda. So yeah, I got this. It's got high fructose corn syrup. So if you're not into high fructose corn syrup, this would not be for you. And then it says 100% natural, no preservatives, artificial color, artificial flavors. It's, uh, they do have mango puree, pear juice. This is not healthy. This is just a sweet drink that I like. And I do supplement with water. After this, I have to have some water because I always say this, water is life. You have to stay hydrated if you want your skin to look nice and your organs to flow and, you know, your whole body to be in good working order. Make sure you stay hydrated. I'm having a lot of coffee right now, which is a dehydrator. So since I like coffee, teas, things that are not filling me with nutritious goodness. I need to have a good tall thing of water after this. And for vanity purposes, I also need to have hydration because let's face it, I don't want my skin to look like a dried up prune. So I did get the green tea with ginseng and honey. And I only got one of these because I don't want to have a whole bunch of beverages in the pantry here. And again, this isn't, this isn't healthy. Actually, the first ingredient is premium brewed blended green teas. How you want to know if something's good, look at the first ingredient. And the first ingredient is actually tea. The first ingredient on this is, <laughs> the second ingredient is, I, <laughs> this is so bad for you, but it's so delicious. Okay, I don't drink, okay? I don't, I don't. I don't partake in the in the swilling of alcoholic beverages. I'm pretty good when it comes to, you know, and I, I'm not smoking the peace pipe or doing the crack. So a little bit of juice is okay. So I heard that these taste like Thin Mints. And if y'all lie to me, I'm going to be so mad. I'm, I'm going to be mad. So these are the Fudge Mint Cookies, Oven Baked. Everybody and their mothers, we're doing the Vanna White Hands, says that these are delicious. I don't know if I believe you people. We're going to open this up right now and we're going to taste them. I was tempted to get two boxes because I rarely ever see these. So they're the oven baked fudge mint and they do it twice, fudge mint, fudge mint cookies. Um... From an afternoon treat to an after dinner sweet, delight the whole family when you bring home their favorite oven baked cookies. They used to make these cookies. They were frosted lemon cookies. They were the best cookies that the Dollar Tree ever had. They are discontinued. I've never seen them anywhere else. They were so good. I could eat a whole box of them. Don't sleep on Dollar Tree treats. Um, the smell got me, and I'm not really smell sensitive. Okay, when I first took it out, it looks like this. 
What is the date on this? What is the date on this? Come on, I checked all of the dates on these. Okay, date's fine. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> cookies they're not as sweet and fudgy as the girl scout cookies they don't have like i almost like them because they're not as sweet as the girl scout cookies oh my god oh my god winner winner chicken dinner they're not as fudgy. They have more of a cookie flavor. Let me see. Do I like the do I like the aftertaste? Let me see if I, I'm gonna try it again because do I like the aftertaste of them? It's like they've been melted or something. Mm. I can't get it. Mm. They like melted. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. These are good. But like I can't get them apart. Mm. Those are good. Those are good, but they're like melted. And I don't know why they're melted together, but mm. yeah, those are good. Those are really, really good. Oh my gosh, those are really, really good. It'd be better if they weren't all stuck together, but don't worry about that. I'll just, it's not a problem because they're so yummy. Oh my God, those were good. Ugh, I'm gonna go into a sugar coma. Um, sweet cookie, sweet drink. That is not something that I, that I like to do to my body. I try to only have like one sweet and nothing sweet together. Like I don't have Coke and cookies together. That's like having Coke and cookies together. Ugh. That's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, so I got some really fun stuff in here. And throw that on the floor. Oh! My friend, my, I don't know. Well, anyway, my friend, my acquaintance here on the old YT Liz Horror Fan. Girl, I found it. If you watch my hauls, um, you know that um, I love you. And she hauled this. And I wanted it so badly, but I... I couldn't find it. Every, I would just look. Like I don't. I've said this before. I don't go to a whole bunch of different Dollar Trees because I don't have the time. Um, I just frequent the Dollar Trees that I have locally. And you know, if I see it, I see it. Great. If I don't, I don't. Okay. But she had hauled this, and I use these for um, Dolly dioramas. And so here is what she hauled, and I wanted. And I've been looking ever since. And I found it. It's so cute. It's going to be for, like I said, dolly dioramas. Basically, I do little picture scapes for my dolls. You want to see Beverly? Everybody always asks about Beverly. And I know she's not real, but, you know, you want to see her? She's here. Hold on. So Beverly is in her Molly Ringwald outfit. And she's looking fab and cute as ever. I'll probably change her. I do want to change some of my girls' um, out. Why do you have stuff all over you? I do want to change some of my girls into different outfits. They've been sitting there in the corner, kind of being ignored. But isn't she adorable? She's so cute. Okay, Bev, let's go sit you over on the bed. So she's there. She's always there. She's just living her best life. Um, I got this for my mom. I, I keep stuff for her to do here. It's the Christmas Word Search Large Print. Or oh, I might do this. This actually looks like fun for me. I think I might keep this. I think I might keep this. This looks like fun. Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Twelfth Night, Christmas in England, Christmas in France, Christmas in Mexico. Oh, pozole. Oxtail. We don't eat oxtail soup. Um, we don't have pinaptis either. 
a Mexican. Um, where are the tamales? Feliz Navidad. I want to know where the tamales are. We usually have tamales and bon dulce on Christmas. So these are inaccurate. It's a Wonderful Life, The Christmas Story, The Nutcracker. Oh, I want to keep this for myself. That's probably going to be mine. So I got lucky and I found, this is upside down, four coloring books. And I don't like to pick up coloring books from the Dollar Tree because one, the paper isn't that good and they're always double-sided. And I use markers, so that's not a that's a no-go for me. But I did find the Bendin Tear and Share pages, which actually I like. Uh, I found Starry Skies, Ocean Treasures, Tropical Paradise, and Full Bloom. So let me show you these bad boys. So here it is. It is pull out your pencils, paints, or markers, and get creative. This book contains 16 relaxing pages of starry skies. Reduce stress and practice self-care with the soothing and satisfying screen-free, screen-free, that means get off your phones, get off your Instagram, get off your TikTok, grab your markers, grab your pens, and color it up and have some zen. I actually rhymed. Pass. Okay, it's the ultimate at-home activity for all ages, so I really love this. The pages are good, people. The pages are thick. And remember to always put something in between so you're not ruining the next page. So I'm excited for this. And I probably would color a lot of this with gel pens. I love coloring with gel pens. It's so fun. It's a different kind of experience when you use gel pens to color with. It's, it's fun. So I love this so much. See, gel pens. Totally different experience. And you can rip these out. You can totally rip these out. Maybe I'll do a flip through of these because I don't, don't sleep on the Dollar Tree coloring books. They're good. And if you just want to practice, like if you just want to practice shading and doing different techniques, these are perfect because you don't have to worry about messing up your good books. So... Ocean Treasures, it's same, it has the same, you know, little spiel on it. I used to love jellyfish when I was little. Look at this. So this would just be fun to straight color. Like, you don't have to, oh, whoa. I'm talking about the gel pens up in here. That is like intricate. I say gel pens because my hands get very sore when I'm using colored pencils. So I tend to like to use gel pens that are, you can, these ones are, are Sugar Rush, just gel pens. So, you know, if you didn't know, now you know. So there you go. That one's cool. These are all seascapes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, these are fun. So those are fun. You don't have to get too intricate or too crazy. You can actually just get sit down with some gel pens and have yourself a good old time because that's an experience where it's just relaxing and you're not coloring to like be perfect. You're just coloring the color. So tropical paradise, but I like to test myself and I like to try new things. So I'm always trying new and different ways to shade um, oh, look at how pretty this is. It's so pretty. But sometimes I just want to color. Sometimes I just want to color. And so there's a little stickiness on it. And so this is really, really pretty. I love this. I might actually do some fork throughs of this. I don't know. Ooh, I like this pineapple. That's cool. Tool school. Okay, and then we got full bloom. I haven't seen these Bendin books for a long time. I don't know if they're new or not. I don't keep up with the Dollar Tree trend as much as I used to. Even though I do shop there a lot, I tend not to really um, watch a lot of Dollar Tree hauls. I watch a lot of doll haul. I watch a lot of doll stuff, a lot of crime stuff. Oh, this is beautiful. I almost didn't pick this. I almost didn't pick all of them up. Then I thought, you know what, for $1.25, why not? I'm doing this thing. Oh, this is probably one of my favorites. These are like the most fun to color because 
You could color them in any way, shape, or form. I'm doing this thing where I am trying to color in all of my coloring books at least once because I have a lot of coloring books that I've never touched, I've never colored in, and it's about time that I start. And it's okay to have a collection of stuff. It's perfectly fine. I can say honestly that I collect coloring books. Do I always color in them? No, but do I like having them on my shelf? Yeah, I do. And it's okay to have stuff on your shelf that you don't use. Um, maybe eventually you will use it, but sometimes it's just nice to have, you know? And yeah, so I don't, I haven't colored in all of my coloring books, but I am making an effort to try. So I do actually want to color in these. Sometimes you just buy stuff and it sits on your shelf and you never get, you never get to it until months later, um, maybe even a year later. But in all honesty, I bought books that I was a novice. When I first started coloring, I colored badly. In my standards, I didn't color as well as I would have wanted to color. And so I left a lot of books on the shelf because I felt like I couldn't, I couldn't do it as well as I, as I wanted them to be colored. So I felt like I could, I didn't feel like I could do a good job coloring in those books. So I left them on the shelf and I never touched them. Now I feel as if the books that I have that are a little bit more intricate, a little bit more detailed, I feel like I want to touch them because I know how to color now and I'm better at coloring. Some people just color to color and that's fine. My mom just colors to color, but I wanted to learn the depths and the shading to make it look a certain way. I had an idea in my head of what I wanted my coloring pages to look like. And I didn't want to just straight color. That If you want a straight color, that's fine. I'm talking about me. Straight coloring is fine, but I had an idea of what I wanted my pages to look like. And so I decided to learn how to shade. And now that I know how to shade and get the dimensions that I want in my coloring pieces, I feel better equipped to color in them. And I'll show you what I mean. I have a Clara Markova book that I'm coloring in right now that I feel like I want to continuously color in because of the fact I learned how to color better. So when I first started off, I started coloring in colored pencils and it's okay, but it's not what I wanted. It doesn't have the vibrancy. It doesn't have the intricacy that I wanted. It doesn't have the full depth. I'm not really shading to to the way that I wanted to be shading, I was learning. Essentially, I was learning and I hit a learning curve and I didn't touch this book for a long time. Now, I think this is better. This page is okay. This page is okay with the house. This page is better because I learned. I really learned how to shade and do things differently. And it pops, I mean, this pops. You can't tell me that I didn't improve immensely. I mean, it's just, it's phenomenal. In my opinion, it's, it's great, it's fantastic, it's everything that I wanted. And so in this page that I'm coloring, can't wait to finish this. This is what I wanted to accomplish. This is the vibrancy, this is the, the way that I thought my pictures should look if I practice enough. And that versus this is such a dramatic difference. So I think it's just such a, I just think it's so much better. So yeah, I mean, now I'm to the point where I can color in any book and feel confident that I can make it look the way I want it to look, um, color it the way, I feel it was intended to color. You know what I mean? I wanted that for myself. Now, if you don't color like that, that's fine. But I had certain aspirations and goals and I achieved them and now I can color in any book without feeling like I'm making it look meh. So, hope that makes sense. I, 
I'm a harsh critic. I judge myself very harshly and I, and I like to challenge myself and I challenge myself to learn how to color. You know, there's no wrong or right way to color. I just had expectations for myself and it's okay to have expectations for yourself. And it's like, if other people want to do something else, that's fine. But for myself, I wanted, I wanted to elevate myself and to try to think outside the box, do new things. And yeah, I think I accomplished it. So with that being said, I love you guys. Two Reese's Pieces and Beyond. Hit that like button, subscribe, jump on the friendship bandwagon, and I will see you guys in the next one. Love you so much. Bye.